The FRAM-2 mission, launched by SpaceX on March 31, 2025, has sent four private astronauts soaring into a groundbreaking polar orbit, the first humans ever to circle Earth's icy poles. Just two days into their journey aboard the Crew Dragon Resilience, they're capturing breathtaking visuals through its panoramic cupola, offering stunning 360-degree views of Earth's polar regions. After a flawless launch from Kennedy Space Center, with the crew now conducting 22 scientific experiments, like the first X-ray of a human in space and growing mushrooms in microgravity, while testing Starlink's laser-based communications for orbital internet access. On track for a three- to five-day mission, they'll splash down off California's coast, marking Dragon's first West Coast recovery for human spaceflight. Here's an update from the crew on day two of the mission. Thank you for your effort. This is actually a known problem uh, that we attributed to something else. So it's very useful data that you are not able to use this trip. Can you confirm when you open the Ziploc bag with the jar for the strips completely safe? This is a volcano. Right next to you. Do you want your hygiene bag as well, Eric? My hygiene bag? Yeah. Do you want it? I can uh, get it. Yeah, might as well. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. Mine is, um, oh, I think mine, I left, I'm leaving it in two. You mean just our daily hygiene with toothbrush and everything? Yeah. yeah, no, I've got mine here. Oh. I leave it directly above my head. I, I was here in 2013. Where? Where are we? Kanchaka. Oh, nice. Lots of volcanoes, huh? Yeah. A lot of salmon below. Photograph. Sean, that is fantastic. <laughs> Video. Yeah. You can see okay, that. Right yeah. This is the uh, entire peninsula is uh, full of uh, volcanoes. Much like uh, Yellowstone in the U.S. This was discovered in 1940s. Eric is looking breakfast for us. Yeah. And this is our zero-g indicator, and his name is Tyler. Tyler, <laughs> yes. Let, let, let's 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 make Tyler <laughs> facing toward us. Oh yes. Make sure Tyler does his sleep survey. So I think we just flew over the North Pole and now we enter the shadow of the Earth. It didn't open Kukula yesterday for smoother adoption of the uh, Microgravity. But today, after breakfast, we plan to go to the cupola for the first time. Eric, say hi. <laughs> I can't explain how fun microgravity is. Really? Isn't yeah. it good? The best thing. <laughs> like it looks amazing in the videos when you see astronauts in space, yeah. but it doesn't really it's reflect so the joy that it brings. It's amazing. Your food wants you to eat it. <laughs> I mean, check this out. Oh, <laughs> fog, projectile. How did you, how did you sleep last night? I slept really good. Well. It was yeah, so cozy. Well. I heard that you don't sleep so well in space, but I think we all slept extremely well. Yeah. Yeah, Me too. Kind of Very good. Around. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and soft. Very soft. Yeah. The first few hours are a little bit weird, and, but yeah. uh, after sleeping, I feel everything's all good. I My feel fresh. like you just gotta get used to like not really having control. <laughs> if you let go of stuff, you'll just float wherever. Yeah. And spin. <laughs> 
I felt that if I had my head just touching something, um, that little anchoring feeling, doesn't matter what it was, mm -hmm. and that's, that, that's why I understand yeah. people strap a pillow to mm -hmm. their head. And it worked really well. When I was just free floating, it's like, this is weird. Because very rarely are you in bed and mm -hmm. you feel like you're in that weightlessness. Mm -hmm. So I think even if it's something hard like that, just against my head, I felt I slept much better. Eric's head also gets Velcro to the Velcro. Uh -huh. So I think he has an advantage. <laughs> Let me find some Velcro. The interesting thing is flying in polar orbits is uh, I think 60 or 70 percent of the time when I look, randomly look out a window I see white. Yes, uh, yeah. I've yes. seen. I, I, I don't think so uh, astronauts on the ISS uh, have this kind of view. And it's so epic because it's uh, another kind of desert, so it just goes on and on and on. Yeah. And all the white. It's so beautiful. Yeah. That's why this really is exploratory, right? Uh -huh. Like right now. It's incredible. Damn. I mean. Every time you look out there, you've got ice and snow. I love it. This is my home. Oh no, it's dark now. Yeah, it's dark. Oh. Okay, let's... This is not easy to drink. This is good. Okay. 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 Okay.